Another film which was funny, the producers wanted me to do this one with uh, Winter's Tale, called Winter's Tale, with uh, a few well-known actors, blah, 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 in New York. And I said, sure, I'll do it. But at the time I was filming, uh, working on a show called uh, Defiance. But one episode I had one day on. I had the rest week free while they were shooting in New York. And I said, sure, I'll take it. <clears throat> so this went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And finally I'm on the plane to go down there. And then wa I walked on set. And uh, they said, oh, they wanted to hire local. I said, hire local? Why didn't they? Well, they wanted you to do it. I said, fine, I'm here. Let's do it. So we get on set and I'm walking around and I hear this voice and I turn around and there's Mike Tadros, who I knew. He was a producer on uh, Die Hard with a Vengeance. And he said, what are you doing here? I said, I'm playing the Colin's father. He said, oh, somebody said you didn't want to do it. And I said, who said that? That's how fast things travel around this industry. One, but one person hears something, right. and they go and do that. Uh, this happened to me on a TV series called Mr. Sterling in Los Angeles. What haven't you been in? A lot of stuff. <laughs> Star Wars, I haven't been in Star Wars. Oh, well, let me see how I can fix that. Uh, yeah, I'll call somebody. Uh, <clears throat> my wife and I were having lunch during lunch break at the the uh, commissary, and my wife likes a glass of wine with lunch, and I was working, so I didn't. And some little up-and-comer saw a glass of wine on her table and went running back to producers and said, you know that Graham's over at the commissary, he's drinking over there. And they went up a little further, Graham's over there and he's drunk. Graham's at the commissary, he's trying to make his way back, he caused a fight. Graham's coming back now, he's really mad and he's pissed off and he's stumbling all over the place. And I walk back and I sit down in the trailer, there's a knock on the door and I said, come in. One of the producers, you all right? I said, yeah, I'm fine. You weren't drinking. What? Well, we had a report that said you were drunk and causing a fight over at the commissary. <laughs> I said, who the hell said that? And the trigger it out, it went, from about, went through about six people before it got to him. And I said, I was over there. Yes, I was having lunch with my wife, and she was having a glass of wine. But I wasn't. I, wasn't, I didn't see any fight. I wasn't causing any trouble. I wasn't stumbling when I came back here. Was I there? And she goes, no. And they said, oh, OK. Just the younger, eager beavers that are trying to get ahead the junior woodchucks, as I call them, trying to get ahead in the business. But they're making stuff up. Yeah. Started ratting everybody out to, you know, be buddies with the, the top, top people.